Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is John Hammond. Still showing off the Junior CTF, a game that was going on uh, over the past weekend, and uh, I wanted to showcase some of the some of the small challenges that I was able to solve and uh, demonstrate them for you. So the next one was a trivial challenge. Apparently, this was in their easy category, so it's only about 300 points now. They had dynamic scoring, so they were all originally 500, and then fluctuate with however many people actually solve the challenge. So okay, lost code, trivial brute force. And uh, again, based off of this Gravity Falls cartoon here, um, I honestly didn't even read this description because I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't really care about all this stuff. I just want to know the technical challenge here. So, okay. Your hacker skills can be useful. Help Gideon to crack the safe. You need a special pick lock. So they're using this like weird cryptic hosting thing. So I go ahead and download this, this, this zip archive. Um, and I'll just create a folder for it. Lost code. Now let's hop on over to our terminal and take a look at it. Unzip this archive here, and I can change directory and take a look at the files that we have. And they're all Windows executables, so whatever. I'm assuming I can run them with Wine. Thankfully, I can. I don't know if I can get rid of that uh, error message. Oh. oh, sweet. I can. Okay, so the the thing here says it's a safe brute forcer try to guess any character 0 through 9 a through f um 32 times so it's a 32 wide string uh and it'll give us a 1 or a 0 depending on what it is uh dash h will show this help but i guess if you just pass in dash dash b and you give it a string of characters it will supposedly like do things for you i'm going to i'm just going to leave this error here i'm perfectly fine with seeing it i guess if you guys don't care um so, according to this, our one and like I, I don't know what that what index that refers to. Maybe our a some other character is in, is in the correct spot. And same with so the one means that that is the correct character for the correct spot. So if I change this to like a zero here, that first one will turn into a zero because no, that is the wrong character. So we know it has to be one. Okay. So the idea is to brute force this, right? So we can script it pretty easily. Um, here I'll show you the code that I ended up writing out. And we'll crank it out together. So I'm going to get Sublime Text open and working here. Drag this down. I'm taking my notes off to the side. <laughs> Don't look. So, Junior's Lost Code. Get flag, dot pi, or whatever we really want to name it. And I'll add a shebang line as usual. Even though I always struggle typing these things and it literally bogs down every video I create. So I'm using subprocess as a module to be able to actually like call the function. And then I imported lowercase letters and digits because that's what it said it was made up of. So I'll actually shrink this. And what I did is I created, I concatenated those videos, those things together. Pool equals SK lowercase and digits. And then I created like a general purpose like get results or like a check function. So what I did is I would have sub process check the output of that command. I was using wine lost exe dash b and I'd concatenate on our um, what we're sending through to it. And I actually have to split this up because sub process takes its arguments as an array. So I split this. I think that's all I did. And then I wanted to actually get the line, like the very last result, just in case. So I, I think the output should give it to us anyway once we're sending it to us. But yeah, I ended up splitting that initially too. I'm actually not going to worry about that. I'm looking at my notes and I'm like, I don't think I have to do that because it should return to us anyway. We can just test it. I mean, we could just run get result print and like a times 32 oh we'll move get flag into the actual directory make sure we're working with the actual code in sublime text okay cool am i lost now Mark our script executable, be able to run it. Okay, so it does it does pass things in okay, and we can view them as the string. Sweet. So now, what I ended up doing was like creating a list of the characters that I know. So I just set this to be a random list, and I can set any index 
all like however I want while I loop through it. So what I did is I literally looped through all the characters in the pool, just like I kind of did with A times 32. I can do that for every single character. For C in pool, I can say uh, our string can be that character 32 times, and then the result will be the result that we get once we send it our string. And for anything that we see as we loop through that result, we can get the index of all these ones and say that our new characters, the string that we're building, that index should be the character that we're looking at. So we can keep track of the actual one successes that we get and build them up into a, a list that is built over time as we loop through all of these. So for I in, I, I want to go through the index here. If the result I, if the current index we're looking at is a one, a one, then we know that that is the correct character. So we can say our characters, the one that we're looking at, that index can be the current character we're looking at. So ideally, at the end of this loop, we should have all the characters in a list. So let's join them as a, as a string. And if we wanted to, we can print out the character that we're looking at and the result that we get. Just so you get some visual thing as to what's really happening here. So I can run get flag and it prints through all of these things. Oh, and what did I do wrong here? Oh, I think because I didn't split the initial output, it might be reading a new line character. So I actually am going to go back to my get result and go ahead and split that. Um, we ended up taking the string of it split, right? So we can take the string of Oh, we don't need to take the string of anything as it's already done. We just need it on the actual output that we got. We can split the actual output by new lines and just get the first result from it. Okay. So how Now, hopefully, ideally... Nope, still wrong. Okay, well, it looks like it's just having trouble because it's an array. We can just kind of change it to a dictionary if we wanted to. And then we can print out the values because the values are what we're actually iterating. That we're what we're adding to. So now let's try it. Okay, cool. We're looping through it. And sweet. We get what should be the flag. See this 8 is in the right spot. Looks like this 6 is in the right spot. So we don't actually have to print these all out if we don't want to. And I guess if we wanted to... We can get flag. All this stuff. See these error messages. Can we get rid of those? I don't know if we can very easily do it. Okay, sweet, we can. And there's our flag. So we can wrap that in a bash script if we wanted to, just to just crank that out. So that's what you ended up submitting. That is um, the key that they that the program will take, obviously, to get all the successes. Line lost. One, 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 and that is the flag. So you go ahead and submit that. And there you go. So sorry all those hiccups for writing the script. For some reason that seemed to work on my notes yesterday, but now it didn't today. Maybe, I don't know, whatever. A dictionary is probably a better thing to use anyway other than an array because like you can't really create an index at those places that haven't already been created, that those indexes that haven't already been created yet. You can have her do that with the dictionary. So that's what we ended up doing. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. I think it was kind of cool to do some scripting for this one because the brute force was simple, but easy enough for us to just crank out um, with an with a cool, interesting idea. Just send the same character 32 times over and get all those indexes where it's in the right place. And we just compile all those correctness things, and we have the flag. So, all right. Thanks again, guys. Hope you're enjoying these. And uh, I'll show off some later challenges in the, in the next video. See you soon.